Hello viewers. In this tutorial I will demonstrate how you can do some image batch processing with the command line. I made some pictures. You can see them here. Placed in this folder. And we like we would like to resize them for example. So how can we manage that? First of all, we need some some software in my case, we type in sudo apt-get install image magic. I did it some minutes earlier, so no password is asked, and you can see it's already installed. So to do the, the batch processing, we need, we need to create a for loop. And in that for loop, we do a action on a image and repeat each action for, this for the other images. So let's go to my pictures folder. And you can see here my pictures names it reflects these pictures so now we create a for loop with an with an index i make it more complete later on then we do do something and something we will explain also later and then we are done So for i in, and now we create a variable, and between the brackets we do a shell command. In this case, I type in ls, and ls means list all the files in in that folder. It should be this command. So change directory pictures. Sorry, that's the command, and the command displays the four images. Do something. Do what? We can now use the command convert which is part of the package image magic. Convert what we would like to convert. We like to convert with some parameters. We do a resize, for example. And we resize the images to 800 by 600. The input file is our index i we so this one reflects this parameter and it's defined by our ls command so that's the input file we also create an output file because otherwise you will overwrite the your original images so we create also a output file. Uh, you may use a suffix or prefix or whatever you like. Uh, I call it resize resized underscore with the file name. So this is my com command in one go. It creates the loop with the ls command. Then a convert which resizes to 800 by 600 Th this is the input file and this part is the output file and if we hit enter it takes a while there is no interaction so if you have a long list of images it takes of course longer 
it's done now. If we type an ls, we see also the resized images. And you can see them in my picture folder. You see? Resized images. You can see also the size has been decreased from 2.6 MB to 331 kilobyte. We can do more, of course. So now we have the basic command. We can also flip, flip the images. But this is a tricky part because we are telling do it with all the images, but we have also the resized images in the same directory. So we have to distinguish the resized one with the original ones. So I make a, a capital D and a star. So everything will be listed which starts starts with a capital D. We can do it. So if this is a regular, a regular ls command, you get all ls d star, you get the four images as in the beginning. So I do convert and we flip the images and of course we give them also another name, flip. And we are done now. Wait a second or two. See what's in our picture folder. And as you can see, pictures are flipped. We can also do some, also flop. Uh, maybe we flip and flop. So from all original files, we cover them horizontal and vertically. Let's see the picture. Flip flop picture. Um, I think something doesn't go correctly. No, this is not correctly. Oh, I used two times flop. It should be flip. Flip or flip flop. Let's see. Yeah, it swapped horizontal and also vertical. vertical. As I said, you don't have any inter interaction to your terminal. So what you can do is another option you can add is monitor. So you have a little more interaction to the screen. And done. For more options for the convert you can you, uh, use the manual man convert and you got a whole list of options which you can use for manipulating your, your image. I just demonstrate some basic ones but as you can see there are a lot more you can play with. Thanks for watching!